welcome back. I've got a fun day planned for us today and I'm excited to bring you along. So Easter is around the corner and I need to get some Easter baskets for our five grand baby, the four girls and little CJ. Uh, so I want to go first to get some baskets. So we're going to go either, let me see, maybe Hobby Lobby first, maybe Target. And then we are very fortunate. We've got a couple places that make chocolate in our area and like really delicious chocolate. So we're gonna go to those places. I'm gonna get something for the older grandbabies and I like to get something obviously for our children. Yes, I still get them a little treat. And for my biggest, biggest child, my husband, he loves all the sweet treats. So we're gonna go there too. And then one of my favorite places to pick up faux blooms, spruce decor. And I'm really hoping tomorrow, fingers crossed, we're gonna make some really delicious and yummy Easter bread. Oh, also, I've been craving just a healthy kind of salad, and there's a Mediterranean salad I've been wanting to make, so we're gonna make that too. So we've got a lot going on. It is 11.06, we've gotta get going. I'm gonna go. Let's head inside Hobby Lobby, and I'm hoping to find some cute Easter baskets and some fun things to put inside of them. I'm looking for a few more faux florals and of course whatever else pops out at me here today at Spruce Decor. Time to go in and get some chocolate goodness and my favorite jelly beans of all time. They are so good. And also, well, let me show you what my absolute favorite chocolate thing is. You're probably gonna be surprised. And I'm sure I shared this at some other time before, but I I absolutely love this. So okay, that's head on it. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this. Okay, friends, my mouth is watering. I haven't had these since last Easter. Oh my goodness. Chocolate covered raisins. They're absolutely the best. I have to have a few, and I'm so hot right now. Oh my gosh, I gotta take off this coat. I'm literally sweating. Is it because I'm so hungry? <laughs> I'm not sure, but all I can tell you is I am very excited about these. Okay. First of all, they have it tied. I like they saying, you should probably just go home and eat these instead of eating them as soon as you walk out of the store, but I sanitized my hands. Pure joy. Nothing like it. I mean, like, seriously. I'm sorry. A few more. <laughs> oh my. My favorite thing to get at Christmas, I mean, at Easter time, was my big thing of chocolate covered raisins. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, we got one more stock. And we're gonna go home, make a healthy Mediterranean salad. Uh, I'll show you the thing I got. Inside in the town. 
Italian market. The smell of prosciutto and pepperoni and the fresh cheeses and Italian bread, it is just heavenly. good luck today getting the things I needed just a few things I have to pick up for the younger ones Easter baskets I'm probably gonna get them um, each like an outfit or two and just some kind of learning toys but for Giada and Capri I got the cutest things from Hobby Lobby so I want to show you that and then I picked up everything I needed for the Mediterranean salad and just some other things that I needed oh oh yeah and then um, spruce decor uh, I got this little container, it's really pretty, and some more faux florals. So let's start off with the Easter baskets. I thought these were so cute. So these little baskets are like little cracked eggs. So of course I got four pink ones and one little blue one for CJ. And of course this little stuff I'll put inside. Now for Giada and Capri, I picked up some books, uh, two for Giada. And uh, some little, these are scented rainbow pen. I don't know. Anyway, some little Pez, a little chocolate cookie, chocolate covered cookie actually from Gorant Candies. And let's see, oh, this little, look at this little, he's a little chicken eat chirps. <laughs> and this is cute for like snacks. So it's a little carrot. Look at how cute this is. So Morgan can put dip or hummus or something like that in there for the girls. They'll share the little bunnies. I'll split these up. Look at these like aerobics, aerobics, I'm probably saying right, aerobics cubes. Um, they're all like each one is like different Easter little things on there. So I thought this would be fun for each of them. I got them each one to, to play with and some, of course, some bubbles, some Peeps bubbles. And books here for uh, Capri as well. And then she got a little bunny. Look at how cute and he hops. So cute, oh my goodness. Oh, and then this is a fun little craft. Um, came as a set of two that they can do together. So we're gonna give the girls their baskets the week before Easter when we're gonna see all the kids. And this way they'll be able to do the craft and they'll have it at the house for Easter. And then I bought these, and I'm gonna go ahead and put all their names on their little baskets. I had to buy quite a few because we have a lot of M's and each one only came with one M. <laughs> and then I bought this one for little Christopher's. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these a little bit later and I'll show you how these all turn out. Got everything I need for the Mediterranean salad, parsley and red onion, lemon, and the garbanzo beans, black beans, olives, green and black olives, and cherry tomatoes and cucumbers. So we're gonna whip that up here soon. Mark needed, well he wanted some jelly, so I got him some Concord grape jelly. And of course, I just thought I'd try some raspberry preserves for myself. I've got some berries. Mark loves these kind of things. When he has meetings a couple times a month at night, he just wants something easy. He always like, please don't make a big dinner because by the time he gets home, he doesn't want anything heavy. So I thought these looked interesting from Aldi's. This stuff I just showed you now is from Aldi's. Um, some little chicken egg rolls, a little chicken pot pie. I bought one just in case he doesn't like it. But I know he does love these from Aldi's. And these are the little Philly cheesesteak. And this one is pepperoni calzone. This is kind of stuff he likes to nibble on huh, when he gets home from a, a meeting late. And I know. His eating is not too good, but the days that he is home, I cook a nice healthy dinner. And then when I went to Rolly's, I picked up, actually I got the parsley over there from Rolly's and the lemon um, and the onion. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, I got some Pecorino Romano cheese, some yummy, oh gosh, really good salami, hot pepper cheese, some turkey, Italian bread, and some fennel to make my orange fennel salad, which I'm gonna make here soon too. Actually, you know what, I'll probably make this over the weekend. Yeah, I'm probably thinking because I'm already gonna have that minute training salad that I'm gonna whip up here in a few minutes. You can't forget the Gorin's chocolates. I showed you a few over there uh, for the kids. Well, actually for Giada and Capri, so I got some jelly beans. Yes, these are the chocolate covered raisins that I was digging into. And I have to try, I cannot wait. This is a peanut butter, actually it's chocolate covered with peanut butter. That's a little bunny. Oh gosh, my two favorite things together. So yeah, we're gonna be indulging in a little bit of that later too. 
Here is a ceramic pot that I picked up from Spruce Decor, and I love that it actually looks like a basket. And of course, these beautiful orange faux florals. The downfalls when I get home, especially from the Italian market, is I absolutely love Italian bread. I love it. It's the best. So I have to do this. I just do. Hey, listen, friends. I want to be healthy, yes, and I want to eat good, and I do most of the time. But there are times when you come home and you got this crunchy Italian bread that you just have to have the heel, which is my absolute favorite, some salami and some hot pepper cheese. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to cut me some. Got my bread. Two little pieces of salami and a little slice here of hot pepper cheese. Oh my goodness, it's the best, seriously. Hold on, it's gonna be real messy. So good. Now that it is officially spring, it's time to take off this faux fur table runner. And I found this beautiful cotton eyelet one at Hobby Lobby. And I thought this will look so pretty and just the perfect table runner to brighten up my table. Time to whip up this delicious fresh Mediterranean salad. We're gonna go ahead and rinse off the chickpeas and the black beans. And now we're gonna cut up some English cucumber. And as far as amounts, friends, I just sort of do what I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some red onion. And of course, you gotta have some delicious cherry or you wanna call them grape tomatoes and a combination of green and black olives. For the dressing, olive oil and red wine vinegar, fresh lemon juice, and a must is the lemon zest. I love the fresh lemon zest. And two cloves of garlic minced up and some salt and pepper. After eating all of that sugar today, this was much needed and it's so refreshing. I love all the vegetables and I love the dressing. So I'm gonna enjoy my night watching Anne of Green Gables. I have not watched that movie in such a long time. But wanting to find a new series on Netflix to watch, I was gonna watch 
I think it's Anne with an E. And anyway, I just wanted to remind myself about the original movie. So I'm watching that, enjoying some Mediterranean salad. Waiting for Mark to get home. We're gonna enjoy a nice night together and then tomorrow we're gonna make some Easter bread. Hi friends, good afternoon. It's about 12.30 the next day. And as promised today, we are going to be making some Easter bread. Now this is an Italian tradition that I grew up in my family uh, and also my husband had in his family though made different ways, which I love both of them, and they're both so delicious. So Easter bread is what we normally eat uh, during the Easter season. A lot of times though, it's supposed to be celebrated the day of Easter because it's just the day to indulge and enjoy those things, maybe that you gave up for Lent. Uh, but today we're going to make my, similar to my great grandmother's recipe. Um, mine was made differently in my family where we have an icing on our Easter bread. And there's something about toasting this Easter bread and having the ooey gooey nits of the icing dripping off, which I love. Now my mother-in-law makes hers differently and hers does not have icing on. She adds anise to hers. We do not have anise in ours. So I also am gonna be changing things up a little bit. I'm gonna be adding some vanilla and also going to be adding some fresh lemon zest because I love lemon. This is a really simple recipe to make. And uh, so I'm excited, I got everything put together here. And I'm gonna go ahead and share with you this recipe. If you haven't had Easter bread or it's something you grew up with, let me know in the comment section and maybe what you have done or your recipe if you want to share with you know our subscribers because i know everyone loves to just hear different traditions but this is something again we've always loved in our family now my aunt made this recipe and you will see when i post some pictures how some people will put actually colored easter eggs and bake those in their easter bread now my aunt used to do that I don't do that, my mom hasn't, does not do that, and my mother-in-law does not do that. But again, there's just so many variations. Have fun with it. So we're gonna go ahead and get things together and start making this delicious, delicious Easter bread. Friends, if you make this Easter bread like I mentioned, please let me know in the comment section. This is definitely a family favorite. And I like because the freshness of the lemon zest and the lemon, and also I love it because of the vanilla flavoring. So for those of you that are not fans of the anus flavoring, you're going to love this. Even if you are, because it's a little bit different, there's no anise like I mentioned in this Easter bread. But when I tell you it's a very simple recipe to make and it is just so delicious and especially when it is toasted. And like I said, the icing is ooey gooey, with a little bit of butter. Oh my goodness, you're going to love it. Now we get to enjoy the delicious scent of the lemon zest and vanilla of this Easter bread baking in the oven. While my Easter bread is baking, I'm catching up on some of my favorite YouTube channels on this dreary, cold day today. Now we're gonna make the icing, it's so easy. It's just some milk and confectioner sugar. Now it's time to put the icing on my Easter bread. I choose to like to drizzle my icing on. You can brush it, it's totally up to you. The last thing I like to do is add these pastel sprinkles on top. All right, friends, I've got a mess behind me, but I have to tell you, this Easter bread is fabulous. It is so good. If you make it, 
let me know in the comment section. Enjoy. Good morning, friends. I was looking forward to getting up this morning and toasting a piece of my Easter bread and enjoying a cup of tea. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, friends. I loved bringing you along on my adventures, uh, preparing for Easter, and I'm just so excited for the spring season. In next week's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how we're going to clean and prep my front porch, and we're gonna decorate it for the spring season. Love you all, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.